Right, so what I've done is uh, just imported these two parts into an assembly. Uh, so we've got a block here, which in your case would be a block of water, uh, and we've got a sphere that we're going to cut out of it, which in your case would be the boat hull. Uh, so the first thing that you've got to make sure of is uh, that both components are properly defined uh, and properly locked down. Uh, so if we go to edit definition here, you can say you can see it says up here fully constrained because I've locked it into the default coordinate uh, system. Uh, and then same with the ball. If we just have a look at uh, how that's constrained, I've locked it to the top of the block. Uh, to this back plane uh, and to this right plane as well uh, just so it's fully constrained and it can't move around uh, so once you've done that if you go to the edit menu and component operations and then cut out and the first thing it's asking for just up here is saying select parts to perform cutout process 2 so in this case it will be the block click on that and then click on OK and then it's changed and it said select reference parts for cutout process and that will be the part that you're using to do the cutting with so in this case it will be the uh, sphere so if we click on that and then click on OK and then if we click on done and done again it looks as if it's not actually done anything uh, but if you click on the box and then right click to get the menu open and click on open it opens just the box on its own and you can see that it's uh, it's performed the cutout on the box so if that was your block of water with the cutout you'd uh, probably save save it uh, with the cutout so you just do a normal save and then if you wanted to import it into Gambit you'd save a copy and then just save it as an IGIS file probably. Uh, right, that's it.